2-0 in conference play as they play host to the Arkansas Razorbacks at 11-2 on the season. Mike Morgan with the... Tapped out by Kingsley into the hands of Watkins. That's what Moses Kingsley can do so well. He's 6'10", he's long, and he's very active on the offensive glass. Up with a nifty move, hanging and firing with the left. Nice job by Tennessee. If you're going to break the pressure, you have to make them pay for pressing. Kingsley on a deep two. That's a shot that you don't see the big man take very often. But that's one. Full throttle is Turner. Leads it off for Hubs. He's falling in love with that jump hook shot. Williams inside. Kick out to Mostella. Three-pointer on the way. That's career three, number 90 for Mostella. The beast down low for Tennessee. 6'5", 235. Hubs with the offensive rebound. Hubs gets the friendly bounce. It's a 9-0 Tennessee run. Hannah's on the drive. And that's an underrated part of his game, Dane Bradshaw. I don't sell yourself Both teams for it. You were the statistician. <laughs> you found all that info yourself. <laughs> I have a lot of free time. <laughs> nice pass and a beautiful stuff on the other end for Trey Thompson. We talked about Jabril Durham, a departing player from last season. He made other players around him better. Anton Beard is as close to being that guy for Arkansas as anybody else, and you saw it right there. Penetrate, drive, draw, dish. It's a poor shot, but there is a stick back on the other end by Grant Williams. Man to man. Inside. Beautiful rejection that time by Trey Thompson. He called the Mike. Arkansas is better when Beard is on the court. Barford knocks down the triple. A good sign for Arkansas fans. Very capable. Second in the Southeastern Conference. A percentage in Tennessee saying we can hit some threes as well. Admiral Schofield from downtown. That's what makes Tennessee so tough to guard. They're not a great three-point shooting team percentage. It's only 33%. But they have a number of guys who you have to respect on the perimeter. And there's Beard at the back of the world. Layup to Beard. Beard. Kind of a weird looking play. That, that's his game though. He doesn't elevate on his shot, but he's uh, gonna have to fire it in traffic. Got it. Right in the face of Macon. Kingsley. Looking to score this time and knocks it down. Lou Evans overmatched. He can do that by five. Kick out, bone pump fake, pull up, 17 footer, good. And a timeout, finding Beard. Step back three on the way, knocked down by Barford, and just as you alluded to, Dane, they have spurred ability. Well, I think Barford, oh, for that guy might have one more. Steps up special brewing in Gainesville. Beard. Slice and dice special in between two volunteers. Fraser back just like that. Tennessee has gone ice cold. Kingsley leading the break. Ahead to Barford all the way. Yes. I thought that could have been an and one for Barford. Finished through that contact so strong, but referee held the whistle. Kingsley boards it. Arkansas on a 9-0 run looking for more. Barford, wheels, deals, gets it off the window and in an 11-0 run. We called it, Mike. This is the game for Barford. Ball, possibly a break. But if it goes, and Barford clangs it off the front iron to end half number one. But Tennessee goes ice cold First after dominating. Place, but now Thomas back in and Beard in for an injured making at this point. And here's Thomas on a steal. Finds Beard. Beard in the lane, a teardrop, and we are tied at 39. One of the things Tennessee did well in the first half was limiting their turnovers. So a discouraging play to open the game here. Or open the second half, excuse me. Another deflected pass, another steal for Arkansas. Beard to Thomas, lays it in, and the Razorbacks have battled back from down 13 to regain the lead. They've done it with their defense, whether it's turning Tennessee over or forcing tough contested shots. Tennessee has missed its last eight shots before that one knocked down by Turner. Die ball game. And Arkansas 
Arkansas. That's one man that they'd really love to see heat up. Dusty Hannes. Oh, hanging. Rejected by Kingsley. He averages three swats a game. That's that off-ball rejection he's so good at. Harford banging bodies in midair and gets it to drop. The Razorbacks up five. Bone the other end. Kingsley altered it, and there's the stick back for Hubs. Fifteen now for Hubs. Hannes throws up a runner and gets it to go. Holy 1958 shot. Miscommunication on the defense. The Tennessee was I quit settling for perimeter shots. Unless you're going to make a play. Then, 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 then you can do it. And we know. Hannes with another runner. Gets foul. Count the basket. Nifty shots here in the second half by Dusty Hannes. To Kingsley has it, lobs it down low to Thomas, and a beautiful feed by Kingsley seeing the mismatch. What a terrific feed by Moses. Now you pass. Macon from way downtown. That was from Chattanooga. Watch it. That hit the best, ripped down by Dustin Back. Thomas. Beard, nifty spin move. Will that count? Yes, it will. Beautiful hooping horn by Evans. Beautiful kick to Turner on open three. That was all set up by Lou Evans. Beard on a backdoor, nifty move. He beat. Lamonte Turner to the spot. So is this guy. Hannah's on a three. Got it. Right. You cannot give him that kind of space. That's a big triple to make the lead. Three-point game. Four and a half to play. Kingsley takes it strong and got it to go. Where did that move come from? Back-to-back -back games. Tyler Davis, Moses Kingsley, and he's been the star in both. Hannah's ahead to Watkins. Nice finish by Watkins. Nice move by Kingsley, a better block from behind by Williams. In transition, Hunter! Bone on the crossover, and that time tried to thread the needle and forced it. And averages three blocks a game. It's the eighth highest total in the country. And for making these clutch free throws. If you miss them, everybody talks about them. But if you make them, nobody says much. But if you're a baller, you're a baller, no matter if it's Juco or D1, and making is a ball. Not tonight. Finally, Arkansas will be able to celebrate its first conference win of the year. 82-78, your final score here from Knoxville. Coming up next.